We are off to meet our fourth guest of the Bully Bubble. And we're not gonna lie, these streets might start to look familiar to you guys because I'm still in Cannes. Why do I have these? I don't need all this. Anyway, our next guest is American. She plays for Moujon. Let's go meet her. I'm gonna lie, feeling a bit of deja vu right now. Do you guys remember this like? Hey, I'm Tessa, welcome to my crib. Hooked on the took one time, climb on my top of mine, pull on my strings like kite, I don't know my left from right. This is basically just the living room, a little kitchen over here, which is nice. Um, a super nice patio which overlooks everything, which I am out on 99% of my time. Just because it's nice out right now and I don't want to waste all the heat in the summer. Just a nice little living room sitting area with a nice little TV they provided us, which I plug my fire stick into so I can still watch Netflix. Mm. <laughs> Super needed. <laughs> and then this is my bedroom, still waiting on my comforter to come in from Amazon. Make it more like home. A super nice view of the river. I get to look at everything people watch if I, if I want to. And just kind of come in here and relax. I like to talk to my friends a lot and a lot of them are also playing sports. And so it's nice, my friend just moved to England yesterday. So I get to talk to her, someone on the same time schedule as me. It's my favorite book ever. It's basically just like telling you not to care what anyone thinks. You're your own person, why would you care about what other people think? I love it, I highlight my favorite things in there, it's great. It's the second time I'm actually reading it. Oh, a lot of it's like with great responsibility comes great power. And the more we choose to accept responsibility in our lives, the more power we'll exercise. It has like a thing on suffering, so like I battled an injury and so it kind of helps with, yes your injury was something, but oh, you're not special. <laughs> That's a good chapter. Yeah, this is my balcony. I can't eat all of my meals out here. Uh, it has a nice little view of the river. I get to air out all my stuff so my apartment doesn't smell, which I really appreciate. There are boats that go across that river in the party boats. Uh, and all the people are just having a blast and it's just so much fun to sit out here and observe everything. I have a lot of fruits and veggies. Mm. I made banana pancakes for breakfast, which were really good. I like to cook random things, so the other day I made uh, mango salsa tacos, and it was also really good. And so I have a lot of that, juices, just your typical salmon, chicken, all that fun stuff, and then seasonings, which I'm getting some sent from home because I figured out that not everything I want is here. Right. But yeah, I love it. Just nice little, I love to cook. So it makes it fun. Just having my own space. Yeah. So. Yeah. Bye. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Time, time would tell them Cause I know I'd prove them wrong I was made to be a legend For the kingdom, for the throne So that's Tessa's apartment. That's where she lives. That's where the girls hang out on their free time. And if it looked familiar to you, it's probably because you've seen it in a previous video. The girls from Lake Hennet and the girls from Mujan live in the same residence. Not that any of them are probably complaining because it's pretty nice and about five minute walk from the beach so Tessa said she spends most of her free time just outdoors which I can totally relate to and now we have driven 25 minutes up into the mountains I think my ears popped on the way up to Grasse which is where the girls train they do their fitness they have a private fitness club here that's a sponsor of the team I've just got a message from Tessa saying Actually, I might not be able to go in and film them because technically the gym is supposed to be closed, but you know what? It doesn't hurt to ask again. <laughs> From the first day I stepped in, I knew I would heed the call. I was destined for glory, rise above and never fall. This is the moment I've waited for. Good morning! We are back in the gym, about to go check out where the girls do their volleying. It's actually a tennis club, which is kind of cool, so there's a bit of a vibe, a bit of an atmosphere around here. 
Let's go see what they're up to. That is it for Mujan. Thank you, Tessa. Thank you to the girls and the coaches and the staff for making me feel welcome and letting me stalk you guys at training and at Musku and showing me around the apartment. And I hope that you guys at home enjoyed that little sneak peek into the life of a professional volleyball player here in Mujan, France. The third and final team in Cannes has been done and now I have to leave this beautiful place, but not to fear because there's more teams to visit. Any guesses where I'm going next? I'm not gonna give it away. I'm obviously not gonna tell you. Go a little bit further this time, but not quite as far. Stay tuned. Post match on Saturday, getting a glass of wine. Yes. Like we were allowed to order a glass of wine at dinner, and I was right. like, right, wow. Like I feel like an adult. Oh, I'm an adult. I can exactly. make my own decisions. This is exactly. new, <laughs> and it's not just like turning 21 in the U.S. is exciting because mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. finally get to drink. But it was like this is a whole nother level. Like my coach is right there. Nothing for you. Nothing.